it is a Saturday and it is like 30 degrees up doesn't, in the mountains. It doesn't feel that warm though. Anyways, we're uh, up here in the mountains doing a tour with some customers that uh, have been waiting for this tour for a year now to get in. And they finally got in and it's actually a decent day. It's not, it's kind of overcast so it's uh, colder than it should be. The sun's not beating down on us but Cold. Probably good for the engines uh, that it's yeah. staying nice. Yeah, it's good turbo weather for the Porsche back there. Oh, totally. totally. We're doing a uh, we're doing a vlog about our Super Leggera today to kind of tell people about uh, the Super Leggera and you know what we like about it and what we don't and kind of where it sits in uh, the lineup of supercars I have in my fleet. The uh, Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera LP570-4 is the entire name of that car. Yeah, it's a long name. <laughs> it's a special edition car. It, uh, it uh, came out twice. Uh, once uh, in 2008 and then they uh, kind of tabled it and then they brought it back in uh, 2011 for the second gen once they uh, switched to the LP uh, series of Gallardo. And uh, they were both Super Legeras. They also have, if you've ever seen the convertible version of the Super Legera, it's the Perfomonte. Um, the rumor is the new Uricon is not gonna carry over with the uh, Super Legera name for the coupes. It's gonna be the Perfomonte. They haven't really announced that officially. I think they're doing that in Geneva uh, this year. And um, we'll find out what, uh, what the new uh, performance version of the, or lightweight version of the uh, Uricon is gonna be called. But for now, let's talk about the Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera LP570-4. So super leggera means super lightweight. Uh, you may know that or not, may not uh, in Italian. So super leggera, super lightweight. I read that they stripped out about 220 pounds from an LP560 to the super leggera, and that's while adding power, while adding parts. So you know the carbon fiber wing, the the, the big diffuser in the back. You've got the carbon fiber um, side skirts the aggressive aerodynamic front end, all that stuff. The LP550, between the LP550 and the LP570 that we have, you can feel that, that more power gel. Yeah, it is it is actually a pretty noticeable difference. It's, um, but also it's like, it, you are also kind of noticing more than just the power difference of, of 20 horsepower, because um, you are also noti noticing, if you drive the Super Legere and then the Spider, you're noticing that extra weight that the, that the Spider has to carry around, and then you're noticing the two-wheel drive yeah. um, system instead of the all-wheel drive, which... Um, Adds weight and gains yeah. weight, right? So, yeah. so it's kind of a trade-off between... I think there's like a, something like a close to a 600 uh, pound difference between... <laughs> Super Legera and the Spider, yeah, um, which is significant, right? The Super Legera, it's set up like a race car. It has a uh, really aggressive camber. If you look at the, the rear tires, um, how they sit, you know, they, they, they're set up to give you that really aggressive camber so that when you're carving the canyons up here, you have uh, so much uh, control. Um, it, uh, you, you get that visceral feeling of feeling uh, every bump in the road, um, you, know, you feel connected. Whereas like maybe the McLaren, it has probably one of the nicest suspensions when it comes to uh, feeling bumps and things like that. It's just really yeah. soft, and but at the same time it's real aggressive. Well, you, you can yeah you can perform really well uh, around tight curves and, yeah. and uh, carving the canyons, but you don't feel every bump in the road. Right. right? Well, and I guess I guess the way I would kind of put it is like you really you can feel what's happening on the road without it being overly bumpy and overly um, annoying i guess it's not the most comfortable car to drive long periods of time in i mean the, the seats uh, really get you snug in there if you're a bigger guy 
wider torso, wider you know, stomach area, I guess, or yeah. hips. Um, those seats are built for little Italians, you know, little guys like myself that you know fit nicely in there. I even stumbly. fit pretty nicely in there, but yeah, yeah, and it's, uh, but it, it can be uncomfortable if you're a wider guy, right? Yeah. For me personally, um, it's sort of a tie between that and the Porsche. Um, Porsche because it's just crazy fast. It's a go kart, and um, and because I love 911s. The Super Legera though is it's such a fun car to drive. It it really feels like it's got a personality and it feels like it's got character. Um, and it's like that personality sort of wants to kill you, but it's <laughs> in a it's in kind of a funny way. And it's it's just it's such a cool car to drive and. You know, when you're in sport mode, it, it gives you these nice kind of heavy downshifts. One of the things about that car that I love is just there's sort of a, for me at least, there's a sense of nostalgia. Partly because, for two reasons. One, it um, it does have that analog feel to it. It's, you know, it's, it's not a manual with a clutch, um, but it really does have kind of an old school race car feel to it with that with that heavy um, those heavy shifts and just a lot of the aspects of driving the car are like that also um, it was the very first supercar that I had personally ever driven I um, before I got started here working here I was a customer a bunch of times and um, that was the first supercar I had ever driven and so I still kind of I still kind of have that sort of sentimental thing about it, um, and it's just a great car. I think there's one thing I explicitly don't really like about the car. What's like, that? the fact that it's not the fastest, that's whatever, that's cool with me, but like, one thing I kind of don't like is when you're driving it, if you're trying to figure out what kind of car is right behind you through your center uh, rear view mirror, you can't because yeah, of the wing. <laughs> yeah, it's got, it's got visibility issues from that standpoint. It's not like a Murcielago. Yeah, it's not as bad as that, yeah. That's zero. I mean, you got to get out of the car to like... <laughs> yeah, to be able to see behind it, yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's like, if that's really my only complaint yeah, about that car, no, no I mean, you know. that's awesome. The Super Legier is just an awesome car. I love it. It's one of my favorite cars of all time. I'm a car guy at heart. I, I like all cars for the most part um, in some way. I appreciate them in some way. Not, okay, I don't like all cars. I fucking hate some cars. Yeah, uh, there it is. That's the truth. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very uh, selective, but I like cars. I mean, I like. Yeah. I'm a car guy.
All right, so we're just about to finish up this tour with these guys. And then we gotta take some more people out on the next tour and a couple more tours after that. And we'll call it a, a day for Saturday. But um, we were talking about the Super Legera after or before we went to grab some breakfast over in Netherlands. We've got a couple um, GoPro mishaps. I think we have a really, really dirty. Yeah, dirty suction cup. Dirty suction. It fell off twice and we actually got it back twice. Yeah, amazing. First right? time it was on the Super Legera, like on the hood right behind the right behind that back window, and just came undone and just tipped over. It didn't even fall off the car. So like weird. I went I ran over because we're still in the middle of the highway. And still <laughs> middle ran over and like it was just sitting there, so I had to grab it, and then we attached it to one of the to the window over here on the Cayenne, and then it actually fell off and went in the road.